So this question comes to us from a very frustrated uh, reader in the United Kingdom who found they went on a healthier diet, so they thought, but wound up with gallstones. Uh, here's their letter, and then I'll share my thoughts with you about it. She or she writes, I'm so confused. I've been on a whole food plant-based diet for almost a year now. In this January, I was taken to the hospital and they said I had possible gallstones due to the pain in the right upper quadrant of my abdomen. I was sure I did not, as last June, I had an ultrasound that said no sludge or calculi seen. I took the antibiotics and now it is six months later, I had another ultrasound uh, and the lady says I now have gallstones and showed me them maybe five or six on the screen. I thought you got gallstones from high fat foods and cholesterol. I'm confused. I don't eat cholesterol and I've always had low cholesterol as before becoming whole food plant based. I still ate virtually no meat and had just a little milk. I now consume none of that. I'm so confused as to how I suddenly got some gallstones when I assumed I would not since I eat no animal products at all. And the only oil I might have is if I buy some raisins or sultanas that have oil in them. I do try to avoid this and, and now I've found some raisins that have no oil in them which is a relief. Are you able to explain to me how I got gallstones in six months while eating a veg and potato and bread diet uh, and uh, homemade bread with no oil? I'm more confused than ever now. And I certainly can understand this reader's frustration. So here's the story on gallstones. And I invite you on my website to go to the video section. And you'll see a video called Sense and Nonsense in Nutrition. And in this video, I spent a considerable amount of time on gallstones and gallbladder flushes. Why you don't want to do a gallbladder flush, but it explains how gallstones form. I invite you to watch Sense and Nonsense and Nutrition. Uh, it'll make more sense to you. All that said, uh, here's uh, in a nutshell, here's how gallstones form. Um, the bile that the liver makes is a detergent that gets secreted into the intestines to help us absorb our fats. Well, bile has lots of cholesterol and the bile can only hold so much cholesterol in solution. If there's too much cholesterol in the bile, then the cholesterol will precipitate out as stones. And these are actual crystalline stones. Uh, these are not things that are squishy that you can crush between your fingers. These are uh, actual uh, crystallized stones. And what causes pain is that if you have a stone and then you eat a fatty meal uh, and the gallbladder contracts and stone gets pushed up into the cystic duct and the gallbladder is squeezing on an obstructed duct that hurts uh, and then when the gallbladder finally relaxes and the stone falls back into the duct the pain goes away and that's why you can be pain free in between gallstone episodes and uh, if this is the case uh, we'll talk about how to deal with this but a low fat diet uh, is your best protection because it keeps that gallbladder from squeezing so it's good you're not consuming any oils or egg yolks or things that are grossly fatty. All that said, why did this person get the gallstones and uh, or should they go back to their old diet? <laughs> so here's the story. Uh, there's actually three factors that will make people uh, tend to form gallstones. One is obesity. This person apparently uh, is, is not obese now, but I don't know that. Uh, but if they started out uh, heavy, uh, that puts them at risk of gallstones. People who are heavy, they sit a lot, their gallbladder tends to stagnate, uh, and they have lots of fat in their blood anyway from the obesity, uh, and all this uh, cholesterol that gets mobilized uh, will precipitate stones out. So if they were obese to begin with, they may have had the kind of bile that was prone to form stones. Second, if this is a person of the female persuasion, women uh, have a higher estrogen levels all the time, but especially when they're pregnant or on the birth control pill or on postmenopausal estrogen replacement. And if they have high levels of estrogen in their bloodstream, estrogens will make cholesterol that precipitate out uh, and that puts uh, this person at risk for stones. So estrogens might have played a role. So obesity and estrogens. And finally, weight loss itself. As people uh, shed a few kilograms, but often many kilograms uh, of weight as they adopt their new whole food plant-based diet, uh, all the fat that they have on their belly and inside their abdomen, uh, that gets melted down and mobilized. And so for a few months during the weight loss, uh, fats in the blood, cholesterol in the blood, and thus in the bile can go up to high levels. 
and this high level of c cholesterol in the blood just from fat being mobilized during the weight loss, weight lo rapid weight loss itself can put people at risk for gallstones. And the weight loss is good. If you were carrying around this extra weight, it's good to get rid of it. But bummer that uh, one of the prices that it precipitated a gallstone. So what should this person do? Uh, one, don't feel ripped off. Uh, and uh, the, the, this is a known phenomenon. Uh, second, if a low-fat diet keeps you from getting gallstone attacks, relax. You can live to be 100 years of old, even though you've got a few gallstones in your gallbladder. If it's not bothering you, let them be. But if they're continually bothering you, uh, uh, then I would have the uh, uh, surgeon pop in the laparoscope and remove the gallbladder. I don't want to lose my gallbladder. Yeah, but if it's sick enough to be forming stones and, and is often chronically infected, you probably do want it out of there. It's like an abscess tooth. Uh, you, you want it dealt with. Um, yeah, but they can sometimes break the gallstones up with sound waves, uh, ultrasound, uh, uh, lithotripsy is, called, is what the procedure is called. That can break up the stones. So uh, talk to your doctor about what to do about these stones. Uh, but don't feel ripped off. As I said, it, it's largely due to weight loss uh, when you adopt a healthier diet. And even though you got these stones, your body is so much healthier on this whole food plant-based diet. The, the risk of developing uh, clogged arteries or a heart attack or a stroke is, is way down. Uh, the chance of developing a breast cancer or a prostate cancer, whatever your gender is, that's way down. The risk of autoimmune diseases goes down. There's no question this is a healthier food stream, so don't get angry at your healthier plant-based diet. Your, your, your whole body is benefiting. benefiting. But yeah, luck of the draw, some, you know, one or two people out of a hundred who lose weight on a whole food plant-based diet are going to form gallstones. It sounds like you drew that straw on this one. So deal with them as, as best you can. Either ignore the gallstones, get the gallbladder out, or check into some lithotripsy treatments. Uh, but, uh, but don't get, give up on your, on your healthy way of eating. That's uh, protecting you from many other conditions. Uh, but uh, hopefully uh, yeah, this explains uh, why someone on a, a healthy plant-based diet precipitated stones. Is uh, Either the obesity uh, made their bile prone to form stones, uh, estrogens may have played a role uh, as far as uh, birth control pills, children, or uh, um, uh, postmenopausal estrogen replacement. And finally, just the weight loss itself may have uh, uh, played a role here. So hopefully that explains uh, why you got gallstones, even though you switched to a healthier diet, stay on that healthier diet, and, uh, and good things will continue to come your way. Thanks for listening.